Hello, everybody. Hello, Mary Manning. How are you today? I'm great. Well, I played in the mud all morning. What? I did. You know what I had to do? You're a dog. You're supposed to do that, you know. I know, but I had to take a shower before I could come to work. Oh. Yeah. Getting clean is really important sometimes, isn't it? Yes. I clean my body every single night, but oh. sometimes I don't because we skip baths. Oh. And uh, I always wash my hands when I get in the bathroom. Oh, that's great. Well, today, you know what? We're going to hear a story about washing hands. Ooh. Can you believe that? Cool. All right, let's listen. Okay. Hello. Hello. Are we glad to be back? Uh -huh. Yes. Last week, we had to video without our special video helper, didn't we? Why were we videoing without Katie? Because I was home. And we were trying to stay safe, right? Yes, because maybe I had corona, but I did not. That's right. Another way we have been saying safe is using this. What is this? Soap. So, oh, that's right. And this story today is about soap. There is a Bible story about soap, Ooh, about tell being me. clean. Tell me, tell me. I'm about to tell you. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Obey God's law, not men's. Some Pharisees and some teachers of the law came from Jerusalem. They gathered around Jesus, and they saw that some of Jesus' followers ate food with their hands, and they were not clean. Not clean means they did not clean means they didn't what? Wash hands. They didn't wash their hands in the way the Pharisees said people must. The Pharisees and all the Jews never eat before washing their hands in this special way. They do this to follow the teaching given to them by their great people who live before them. And when the Jews buy something in the market, they never eat until they wash in it in a special way. They also follow other rules of great people who live before him. They follow rules about washing of cups, pitchers, all sorts of things. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law said to Jesus, Your followers don't wash their hands or follow the rules given to us by our great people who lived before us. They eat with their hands and they don't wash them before. Why do they do this? Jesus answered, you are all hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he spoke about you. Isaiah wrote, These people show honor to me with words, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship of me is worthless. The things they teach are nothing, but humans' rules they have memorized. You have stopped following the commands of God. Now you only follow the teachings of men. What do you think about that story? I like it. He was telling them that they had a clean heart, but the other ones didn't. That's right. And why didn't they have a clean heart? Because what did they do? They hurted their feelings. Very good. They did. They were judgmental. And they said, they're not washing their hands. Which actually, a clean heart is more important, right? And I remember you're wearing Peter Pan. I am. <laughs> I sure am. All right, well, our project today is we are going to do something special. I hope it works with this bottle of soap. So it'll make us think about clean hands, but also, more importantly, having a good, clean heart. Sounds good? So we're going to make a clean heart and put it on our soap so we can know that we have clean hearts. That's right. You want to get our stuff? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So... All you need is some tissue paper, some scraps of tissue paper, some Mod Podge, a soap bottle. Um, and a heart. Yes. Well, Mary Manny wants to do a heart, so it'll remind us that what are we doing? We're, we're trying to keep our heart pure and clean, right? Right. So think about a good heart. It wouldn't be judgmental, right? It wouldn't right. say, they're not washing their hands, right? Right. Right. Okay, so you would think about what God would want in your heart. What does God want you to be like? Let's think of some words. Kind. Kind. That's a good one. 
What's another one? Generous. Generous. I love that one. That means to be giving, right? Mm -hmm. Generous. Giving of your time, your talents. Okay, so when you're writing your words, what you're going to do after you've written your words is you're going to put it on your bottle, kind of like that. This one's sticking because there's a label. And then you take your Mod Podge. Oh, and you need a paintbrush. And you just kind of carefully paint it. And that's going to make it stick. So you keep, keep painting. Generous, kind. How about helpful? Helpful, you think? Can uh -huh. you think of any more? How about love? Loving. I love that one. Being loving towards others. Think about what you look for in a friend. Hmm. Best? Best, yeah. Somebody that's the best. I know. I do too. I think about that. Okay. All right, I think we have a good bit of words. Let's see. Helpful, kind, generous. Okay, wait. Oh, well, you <laughs> I think this will work though. You paint the Mod Podge. Actually, I didn't give good instructions after you put it on there. But since this is tissue paper, we can probably just put it on. Mommy, you covered half of the heart. I'm so sorry. But you know what? You're going to be able to see it because that's the thing. Kind of. That's so light though. Here we go. Generous. You can do them kind of overlapping. I love tissue paper and Mod Podge. It's really fun. <laughs> ah! Mod Podge on my potato. <laughs> you got to paint them back on. Yeah, you can stick one somewhere. Now, when we go to clean our hands, the this bottle will be a wonderful reminder of keeping our what clean? Our hands. Our hands and our heart by being all of these things and I think that having a clean hands is super important right now but also very important to have a good and kind and clean heart right 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 okay and then it'll dry and it's gonna look a lot better than it looks right now <laughs> all right I hope y'all have fun making <laughs> something similar to this um, and we'll see y'all next week. Bye, bye guys. Say bye. We're back, everybody. We're back. You know what, Mary Manny? You know what one way to keep your heart clean is? Uh-huh. To that? wash your hands. Well, that's good, too. But one way to keep your heart clean is how you treat other people and how you what words you use with them so imagine that your friend made a bad grade on a test and they were really sad what would you tell them it's okay it's okay mm-hmm yeah it's okay what if they fell down on the playground and skit their knee up you you gave them a hug and give them a band-aid. That is great. See, how we treat other people and what we say matters because it helps our heart grow in love. So this week, boys and girls, I hope you'll consider how it is that you talk to your friends and your neighbors and your family because what you say matters. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.